Hi everyone. Now that the new enhanced user interface has been installed into all Alabama servers, many people will want to eagerly turn that new enhanced user interface on. One word of caution that I use with districts is to ensure that you have updated any plugins that you use so that any pages that may have been created will now be available in the new enhanced user interface. Now, there are some plugins that I do know we use as a state that will not be updated by their developers for the new UI. It does not mean we cannot place links to those pages in there. So what I want to do is show you how to insert a custom link to two of our favorites that I know all districts will need to do. One of them is our very heavily used PSCB reports. If you are a district that still uses the free reports that we all have out there, they currently do not show when you turn on the new enhanced user interface but there's a way to make them show. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to actually get the URL of the landing page of the PSCB reports. So notice I'm currently logged into the new UI. I have a incognito window of myself logged into the old UI. And so just let me go back home just to show you that. And again, you see it's that normal left-hand link listing. So what we don't have in the new UI is something that points directly to that page. So what you will need to do as a district is first come into your PSCB custom reports. And you need to grab this URL at the top of the page. So remember, every district is different because we've got our district PowerSchool server name in that URL. So I just did a control C to copy that. And now I'm going to minimize this. So the next thing that you want to do is figure out where do you want this page to land? Here's kind of the good thing about it. Each district can make it go into its own area. Um, just remember if you do something different than what I do when I'm showing trainings, it, it could be confusing. So just keep that in mind as you're determining placement. Where I would like to see it go is over here on the left under data and reporting because that's what it is, a set of reports. And so we have all these different links now and actually what I would like to do is stick it here in this list of reports. So I'll just go alphabetically and I would like it to come right after enterprise reporting. I would like to see PSCB reports as well. So now how do we get to that? So the first thing you're gonna do is scroll down here to system management. And under customization is this new feature called custom links. And this is a way this think of it like a card catalog where it's allowing us to file away each one of the pages that make them then viewable and searchable within the program. So I'm going to collapse all of these big pages for now until I get to my data and reporting page. So remember where I wanted it was under data data and reporting and then under reports. So all of these were different subcategories and you can collapse or you can just scroll down. So here is the reports area. Notice we have some pages that are already placed in there by plugins and that's what most people um, who your developers who have released updates to the pages. Uh, big ones I can think of are Jason Springles teacher and counselor dashboard pages. If you use those, please make sure you have grabbed his new plugin and updated it and it will already insert them kind of in the file catalog and you'll see here. But for any who have not, this is how you put them in. So I'm going to click on the three dots here for reports and I'm going to place add a reports link. I don't want to add a new subcategory. I just want to add a link to this list. So first thing I want to do is title it. So I'm going to call it PSCB reports and then this is where I needed that URL so I'm pasting in that URL that I grabbed while I was still in that new UI I mean the old UI so make sure you make those lists before you go enabling this so that you will have them to know what you need to place in here if you would like to open it in a new tab you can click there I'm going to leave all of these just defaulted as is um, this is not one where we need a student or staff selection in there you would need to choose that for some others possibly but for this I want it for, at school and district level I want it available for both and now here's where do I want to place the link well I specifically I'm you know I'm just going to be OCD and put them in alphabetical order so I'm going to put it after enterprise reports. So I say place link after 
Enterprise Reports and click Add Link. We'll let it load. And you'll see it has been successfully added. And so you can see any new ones that you have added. Just as a fun fact, you can also edit these if you needed to, and you can completely remove them if you decided that no, that's not where you wanted it. Now, if I if I try to go back and, and go here, you notice I don't see it. So you will need to refresh the screen. And once you refresh the screen, you will then see under data and reporting, reports, you will see your new link to the PSCB reports. So here's the thing to keep in mind. Any plugin that you have already installed still is active within the new UI. If it does not have a link built in, if the developer has not updated the plugin to do this linkage, here is how you would go through and link it yourself within your district. So now from district level, I can see those reports and go into any of them. And I can also do that from the school level. Another one that I know is very popular that we're going to need to link is Power Tool. So we'll go through that same uh, process right there. So as you're evaluating all of your plugins for this new UI, check first to see if the developer has released a new plugin. If they have not, then you just need to get the URL of the page that the plugin lands on and you'll create your own custom link to allow it to show for your users in the spot that you choose. Hope this helps us all get a successful start using the new enhanced user interface.